Looks kind of nice. It looks nice in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What's going on YouTube? Doug Smith here and welcome to another episode of the We Sweet One. Now today, as the title is read, we're going to sharpen our mower blade and we're going to be getting rid of some squirrels. So, uh, you know, what is he doing? What is he going to do? What is he? Alrighty, so before you do anything with your mower, there's a couple things we need to cover here. So, number one, make sure you're cleaning it, like, in between, because this is pretty gnarly. Um, some of your mowers have a little hose connection, and some of them don't, and uh, they're all made a little differently. But the more that's in there, the more stuff is just going to kind of stay underneath the blades, slow it down. But not the point of this episode, so... You have your uh, fuel tank on one side, you have your air and everything on the other side, your exhaust. You do not want to tip this sideways where gas is flowing through the engine one way or oil is flowing through the other way. So I always just tip it straight back. And some of you might uh, pin me on this, but you don't want to stick your hands underneath here until number one, you've disconnected this cable right here, which is for the spark plug. Let's see if I can't. Yeah, there we go. So once you get that removed, it will not start, it will not fire. And I like to put it just kind of somewhere off to the side so it doesn't arc across and cut a finger. So there's that. We're gonna go ahead and break out some tools. Here's 9 sixteenths is the magic lucky size that will fit this just perfect. So I got that. Something to keep in mind before you take the blade off is which way is the blade facing. So in this case, this is the blade side. It spins this way, right? So, you know, that's one thing to keep in mind before you take it off. You want to take note of this kind of stuff so that way when you're taking this off, you don't put it on wrong when you put it on. Um, but number two, you know, to loosen it is basically going to cause the whole entire thing to spin. And a little trick is, you see if maybe I can't spin this all the way around. Little trick is, you got a little side chute, you can put something through there that will hold the blade, but you don't want to, uh, you know, use like a metal rod or anything. And uh, you want to try to break it loose quick and easy so you're not warping the blade, because overall you want it to stay balanced. So we're gonna go ahead and find something to prop that. All right, so let's see if, We got the bolt loose and the blade is free now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and uh, we're gonna sharpen it all right so now that we got the blade off you want to kind of give it a slight inspection you know see where the angle of your uh, cut is and uh, they say you know the angle that's on the blade you don't want to mess with that but you do want to just kind of clean it up and if I can get a focus there we go so you want to look see where you have any nicks any dings because every time you cut and you hit a stick or something it's gonna make these little divots uh, rocks will do the same thing and what happens is you're no longer cutting the grass but you're kind of ripping the grass so first things first you want to try to just clean the blade up in general see what uh, what kind of green stuff you can get off of it because once you're done you're gonna want to balance it and uh, usually a good trick 
is to just get like a nail or something have it hanging and put your center bolt in there and if it leans one way then you know you know which side to balance so um, we're gonna go ahead and break out our sharpening tools now the best way to do this is gonna be just uh, you know a bench grinder so with that we're gonna use some filing tools because we don't have a bench grinder and uh, I don't really have any other use for a bench grinder except to cut this so I'll just go ahead and uh, grab a couple of these little files and see what what we can get done so you guys can see that a little bit shinier right now it's not necessarily the shine but it's the edge that you're trying to get nice and clean and uh, they usually tell you not to do this on the back side of it I do it just because you know when you got little nicks and stuff sometimes you gotta clean them up just about the best way you know how Let's look at the other side here yet again a flawless job I might add the same thing we scored the back now uh, I already balanced this I know this is balanced so now we're gonna go ahead and put it back on about do it so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut the savage yard that we have here and uh, see what we can do and see if I might be able to show you why we wanted to sharpen the blade today Wait. it's right there maybe I can lay that on my hand you can see where that has been ripping the grass apart because the blade had gotten a little dull. Uh, every time that does that, your grass runs the risk of getting an infection. So, now that I got the blade sharpened, I got the blade on the mower, I'm gonna go ahead and gas her up and see what we can do. And here's a pro tip, so, once you've done your mower, make sure you connect it because go through all this effort of cleaning the blade, sharpening it, you wanna put some gas in it, fire it up, and it ain't gonna do nothing for you unless that little spark plug is plugged back in. So don't forget that. All right, everything's looking pretty good on this side. So you guys have busted me. I didn't trim. But I finished doing this entire side right here. And I think this is one of the best cuts I have done. Now, as the title reads, we're gonna sharpen the mower blade and we're gonna get rid of squirrels. Sounds, sounds like we're gonna do something harmful to them. But truth be told, we're just going to do some treatment. Now, uh, now that we got the grass cut and everything, we're gonna do some treatment for squirrels. And I figured, you know, I, I imagine I'm not the only one, me and my buddy, we're not the only one that has, you know, a pear tree right behind us in our backyard. We might have an apple tree or a grapefruit vine or whatever. But instead of just uh, frustrating over the squirrels going crazy and 
like literally just taking a bite out of every pear, dropping it. Um, I actually spoke with my father on this. He used to do pest control back in the day. And he says, you know, put some buckets of water out. So if you haven't, try that first. See if maybe just putting a five gallon bucket on the ground somewhere around, um, they'll go for that instead of eating your tomatoes or anything else. But for my case, cause that didn't work, we're gonna try some of this. And uh, this is supposed to get rid of just about anything. And I believe it says squirrels for up to a month. It's a dust, you lay it around the property, they smell it, they don't like it, so they run away. And uh, I figured since I had this, I'll go ahead and uh, find a link to post it in the description. And then, um, you know, if you guys wanna try it, awesome. If not, you can always wait for my follow-up video with the review of how well this does. All right think we made some good progress today and uh, I'm just gonna come over to the side I think the, uh, the way the sky is we're not really gonna see the stripes <clears throat> kind of see them a little bit but that about does it and so what we're gonna do as far as the uh, treatment for the squirrels basically all we're gonna do is go around the entire perimeter of the property trying to there we go I'm trying to do this so you guys can see me and not the sky right so we're gonna go around the perimeter of the property um, as you can see just just along the outside that's all we're gonna do we're gonna put that stuff down it comes out like a powder or maybe like uh, maybe like pellets so we're gonna go ahead and see how that works. Now, as I mentioned before, we're gonna do that and then do an update. So with that, do not forget to subscribe. Just uh, smash the little red button there and then hit the bell icon next to it. That way you can make sure that when I do release the new update, you're notified. Um, YouTube has a weird thing where you, you don't get the notifications if you don't hit the bell icon, even though you subscribe, so. Hopefully all that works out. And then if you guys have any questions or comments, maybe you've used this stuff before, maybe I did something wrong or, you know, who knows? Maybe you just want to say hey, which is completely fine. Go ahead and uh, put that down in the comment section below and then hit the like button. All this stuff helps me out and uh, shows me that I'm doing, you know, what, I guess what's, what's being looked for, what people are trying to figure out. It makes me uh, aware that what I'm putting out as videos are being uh, used for educational or just for entertainment purposes. So um, do all that stuff and we will see you on the next video. Peace.